Welcome guys, myself Subhash Chansukla and in this video I am going to talk about how to upload and download files on S3 storage. So there is two major requirements, menu package that is available on Flutterbox and S3 mm -hmm. credential. Okay, so let's start into steps. First step, I have to uh, add the menu package in my pubs.table file and second step, I have, I have to import the menu packages into my file. In fourth, in third step, I have to take the objects of menu variable by passing the parameters like endpoint URL, access key, and now I have to up create the function for upload file. So this function name is upload to S3, and it is taking the parameter file, bucket name, and object name. And I also want to handle the response into try cache block. So inside this, I have to put object through the menu instance variable by passing the bucket name, object name, file path, and uh, content type also. And third, uh, in fifth step, I have to define the function for download this file, download files from SA. So uh, this function taking the parameter bucket name object name and I also want to handle the response into try cache block inside this I have to get the object through menu instance by passing the object name and bucket name after the response come from server I have to handle this into uh, into file so I have to create uh, the file name file with, with the my custom path and inside this I have to put all my data taken from response into this file and inside and finally I have to call this both function by function name upload to s3 uh, by providing the file path bucket name and object object and file types also and inside in download file function download from s3 I have to provide this and I think this video is very informative for you so you can also take this article on medium